Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to talk. Today we're going to talk about IOI 2022 problems. So first problem is day one problem one fish. Here is the problem. So um, you have a fish farm which is on unbalanced grid. Zero zero is at the bottom left. So there's a bunch of fish, yes, like M fishes. Right? Each of them is at a location uh, with weight of W. Then you can build a bunch of piers right, at the length of C with the, um, then you can capture the fish on the left or on the right of the, the pier. So if you have, here's a description, right? So if you have a cell um, that has uh, x minus one or x plus one at the same y, and then there's no pier on top of it because you can't catch a fish just directly under the pier. In that case, then you can catch the fish. So here is an example, right? So you have this unbalanced uh, farms, fish farms. You can build a pier like this. So the so number five can be captured. Number three can be captured. I mean, weight five, weight three. Two cannot be captured because two is under a pier. One cannot be captured because there's nothing on the left or right of this fish. The question is, what is the maximum weight you, you can capture uh, with all those peers? Mm, very obvious, this is a DP problem, right? And uh, we can start with, if we can do it stupidly, we can brute force this DP. Okay, meaning for, let's draw one here. So if we can, you know, for each point, right? For each point that if I do D, P, X and Y, and I consider all the possible, you know, let's say I build a pier up to here, I will consider all the possible possible combination of peer, for example, this peer is here, and then for empty ones, or the peer of here, you could DP it. But obviously that is O n cube, that is too much. So we need to find a way to have better description of the DP, the state of the the DP, right? So if you look at the problem a little bit, then obviously then immediately you can see this couple of observations. Let's say observation one. If you consider a column here and Let's say you have fish here, you have a fish here, you have a, and then let's consider, you know, you're gonna build a pier here, right? Let's say you have a fish here, you have fish here, you have fish here. When you build a pier like this, if you build here, then it makes no difference whether you extend this pair to, pair to here, from here to here or not, right? Because you're not gaining anything. Same as here, if you already build the pair all the way here, then there's no point of keep going up because you're not going to gain anything. So let's say this, you know, let's say this is a column I, and let's call this is all the fish at i minus one, 
it's a set, and this is a set all you call it a y, at the column i minus one, and this is y of i plus one. So you only need to consider the location for y, y of i. You only need to, you know, when you do the DP, right? You only need to consider the combination of I, right? So you only need to consider either there is a fish to the left or fish to the right. Anything that is, there's no fish on both sides, there's no need to consider. So how many of those, this is maximum of 2M, right? maximum of 2M of those possible combinations. So immediately you don't need to consider all the n squared of those. You need to consider all the, only need to consider all those. Okay. So now let's look at another observation. Okay. So if I build a pair like this, then, then if I build the second one like this, and the third one like this, okay. So, in ob obviously this, if we do this, okay. So this will catch here and will catch here. Then you should, it does not make sense, right? So you don't need this one. Um, this one should go all the way up, right? So in the reverse, if you have things like this, right? This is a peak, this is a valley. It makes no sense to build this pier, right? Because all the fish here will be captured by this and this. Right? And furthermore, you actually covered it. So why you want to cover this if you can get a fish? So this should behave like this, right? So this, because you already have, you know, all the fish here, you get covered, right? So, so that means you should only have, you should only have the things that are either increasing, continuously increasing, you know, like this. or continuously decreasing. Okay. So then you could have something in between, right? You could have something in between. Okay. So now, um, this one you could actually, you know, remember this one you could blow all the way to the top. Right? So then that's a second observation. So with a combination of those, then when we we need to count each of those two m. Let me write it. Then we need to count each of those two m possible location, right? So remember, this those locations are a combination of those. When you consider each of those two M locations, okay, let's say you consider this location, okay? So you need to consider whether this location is increasing from previous case, or this location is decreasing from this previous case. So you need to have combination of two. So if it's increasing, you know, let's say you build a pier up to this location. So then for each 
of those previous possible peer, right? You could build, if you build a peer like here, then, then it has, you know, let's say this is T, okay? It has the amount of weight, right? You can capture up to here. And then there is additional weight, right? Those, there's, you know, if there's a fish here, so this can be done by a prism, right? You know, basically a prism of, you know, from gap from T to this 2M location, right? And then additional fish you can capture it are here, right? And this is at I minus one. And then prism of 2m up to 2m, right, at i plus 1. Those are all O1 calculation, right? And those are all O1. Okay, so it's very easy to, this is a fixed, right? This is independent of 2m, right? So this is easily, you just need to find the maximum out of those. And this is already um, that's a very easy to do, right? So then with that, then you can easily, I mean, if you do decrease, then you only consider the ones on the top. Right? So that's very easy to, to calculate, okay? So um, then with that, then you immediately get the, the transition, right, from previous state to next state. So that means you have O of 2M and the log 2M, right? So uh, you have a log because you have to sort this, right? There's a sort here. Actually, you also have, you have to add the n stuff, right? Because you're going to do um, n of those uh, from one to here. Right? So that is basically your calculus, your complexity. Okay. So this problem is not that difficult. It's a standard DP that we move from one state to another state. The way we're trying to we'll simplify the DP is to make a couple of observations. The first observation is to reduce amount of point you want to do the DP. Instead of n squared points, you only need to do two n points. The second one is to figure out uh, you only increase or decrease. Uh, by the way, there's one consideration is, it is also possible that here, instead of doing this, you also not doing anything, right? So you also have to consider not doing anything. You also need to consider you build this thing all the way to the top, right? So you know, theoretically, it is um, you know this two m theoretically is two m plus two n, right? But it's the same um, when you take a lot, so. So we take all those ads of that. So you consider zero and then you consider all the points that are left and right have a fish. So that's your DP. So the homework today is to take this and decode it up. Um, we also will post a example solution here. Uh, I'll post put that in the link. Also it's one of the um, 100% correct result. So um, good luck. Next week, we're going to talk about problem number two, which is prison.